guys and welcome back to my channel and another video. Today's video I am going to my do Lou, please oh, oh. pause the darts for a second. Let's start again. Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel and another video. I am currently going to go and pick my mum up and we are going to go and do the Christmas food shop. I have finished an eight hour shift at work, I've come home, I've had a shower, I've de-stressed, I've washed my hair, I've straightened my hair, I'm actually really liking it. Um, got my car keys, well I don't actually know where they are, Lou's got the car keys. Oh. And I am just gonna go and pick them up, we're gonna go and do the Christmas food shop. The co-op do this system where you can save like 5% cash back throughout the year on all your items. So I've literally saved up 70 pounds worth of points on my membership card. So I'm literally gonna go and spend shop till I drop. So even if the shopping comes to like 100 pounds, me and Lou are literally only spending 30 pounds. So I'm literally buzzing about that. Sorry if it seems like a shite today. Lou is watching the darts and the football in two different rooms in the house. Gals, you, you get me, you get me how annoying that is. Anyway, got my shopping bags, first time I've ever remembered them in my life, but my mum will have forgotten hers. Let's go to the shop, I've got a kind of list. Basically, we're stay having Christmas dinner at my mum's house and we're going to Lou's dad's after. So, I just wanna get party food. It's Saturday while I'm doing the shop, so we've got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we've got three nights of just like eating party food. Who doesn't eat party food at this time of year? And just eating junk food, basically. My can of tap of food. Let's go. Lou, remember to clean the kitchen table if you want to get back for the YouTubers. Okay? Yeah. Okay, bye. Who's joining us now for the Christmas craziness? Woo. Mum, have you got your list? I've got my list and I'm checking it twice. <laughs> You're gonna find out who's naughty or nice. nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go. Right, let's go. We're gonna shop till we drop here. Dad's gonna go mad. How are we gonna fit the food in the shop? In the car? Last year we had to call Dad to come pick up Mum up because oh, he didn't did, fit in the car. We? Yeah. Oh, it'd be fine. It'd be fine. So, guys, I'm on the last bit of my Christmas food shop. My trolley is absolutely rammed to the top. Like, I'm actually. I'm in a panic now of how much I've actually spent. I'm like, okay, let's check my accounts. Let's make sure I've got enough to spend here. Um, but literally, I have literally just filled it. Party food, cheeses, alcohol, you know, just all that stuff, Christmas stuff that you spend your money on. So let's um, go to the checkout and see what it's gonna come to. Guys, guess how much you think, mum, how much do you think a trolley's gonna come to? Do a guess. I don't have a clue, but mum, that's mum's trolley. That's my trolley. Send us hope, send us love. We'll, um, We'll tell you in the car how much it came to, won't we, Mum? We will. Mum's trolley came to £165. Let's see if you guessed right. Let me know in the comments. And my trolley, I had saved up £70 worth of points. And mine was, what was it, Mum? hundred and Basically, all I paid was £60 for this with my membership points. So that's absolutely amazing and buzzing. I got gin, I got wine, I got all the Christmas food for the next week. Buzzing. So, guys, that is me. <laughs> if you'd have just seen what Lou did, he was like... Get out of the camera. Lou has kindly helped me lay out the shopping. We got it 61 pounds down from a hundred and, well, we got just discount on it, but about 170 pounds down to 60 pounds. I mean, what are you saying? What a bargain, excuse Lou's dartboard on the wall. Yes, I have allowed him to put a dartboard on my bathroom door. Um, anyway, guys, let's get on. I'll show you what I picked up. Honestly, Lou, you were gobsmacked. You were so shocked at how much food we got. So, right. Anyway, let's get on and I will show you what I picked up. Sorry guys, the food is literally laid up across the whole of the TV, like not TV, the kitchen unit. So I'm just gonna like start over here and just like literally go through it all. So this is to do with about a week over the Christmas period. I don't really eat food over the Christmas period, I just eat snacky food. So I've got some six pack of sparkling water, two of these spaghetti rings um, because they're so nice with like, oh my gosh, with bacon and little mini sausages which I'm gonna get at some point. I got two for um, four pounds of bacon, I got the unsmoked one and the smoked one but the smoked one's up there. I then got some asparagus, no I didn't, I then got some spinach, Harriet, not asparagus. I got some toilet roll um, essential, I got big 20, no 16 pack so yeah I got that. Then got some mashed potato, pre-cooked mashed potato for um, any quick dinners throughout the week that we might want to have. I got some curly fries and I got some sweet potato fries. I got some spring rolls and vegetable ones. I got some mozzarella sticks. I got a packet of eight Capri Suns. I got spicy lentil ridges. I got cheese balls, oh my gosh, I love them. I got prawn crackers, because I love snacking on them too. I got um, 24 eggs, basically. I, mean, I literally love eggs at this time of year for breakfast, so I got eggs. I then got some Christmas star crumpets. I then got, oh my gosh, look how amazing this looks. 
three cheese fondue sharing board at bread rather and oh my gosh it's bagging time do, 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 do. if you follow me on instagram you will seriously know about that song i then got some spiral pasta because i just thought we'll get it in the cupboard in case i fancy some pasta um then we've got three different gins we've got sky gin um we've got edinburgh gin and my pinot grigio i've already got a full bottle in the fridge so i thought two bottles will do me over the next week because i literally get a little bit merry off two glasses of wine so i don't need more than two bottles of gin so not gin i don't need any more than two bottles of wine so then we got it's the pressure of watching me i'm getting my words wrong but then i got garlic chia batter breadsticks um £1.60 down from £2.25, another little bargain, but they're all freezable and yeah, it saves you a bit more money if you were going to buy the just the normal product. Then here's some bacon that I got in the two for four pounds. I then got some cool cheeses. I got some Carbonzola cheese. Um, this is a really nice cheese. I got some Somerset Brie, another a lovely cheese. And I got two packets of the German smoked cheese. Lou loves this cheese. Um, so I got that. Then got some chicken goujons, um, which was all like the party food. And I got some sticky honey and mustard sausages. They look really, really nice. Lou's excitement when they came out of the bag was, he was very excited about them. And then I got some cocktail sausages because everyone needs a cocktail sausage in this time of year. They've already been opened. I got two different milks, a big one and a small one just to do it over the next week because um, I'm going to have endless cups of tea when I'm off work over Christmas. I got an Admiral's pie, fish pie. They're just good to have in the freezer and I really like them. I got some tempura prawns love these tempura oh my gosh no, these tempura prawns are amazing oh my gosh love them i then got stirring pasta to go in with the pasta i got back there in case i just fancy a little pasta dish one night if you haven't seen my pasta speciality head over to my instagram it's with this with pasta with bacon with um somerset brie and oh my gosh melted together it's just amazing so yeah try it i got some mac and cheese bites they look really good i then got some tex mex selection it's got garlic mushrooms potato wedges and it's got onion rings in it too that looks really good as well i then got me and Luke a couple of desserts for the next week i got me a goo lemon cheesecake okay guys i got sucked in when they came on offer at the end and i literally am obsessed with these Luke. like oh my gosh just obsessed with them so these are like three pounds something but i just thought it's a christmas treat so i got them and then Lou's more into like a mousse a chocolatey mousse dessert so i got him these layers of joy winter um desserts they look really nice then I got three red onions and I got some bread to go with my me and Lou's eggs. A healthier option considering everything else isn't that healthy. Um, I got some sort of like seeded loaf. That would be really nice toasted though with um, eggs on top. Then got some little wee skinny malinkies. That is so Scottish. Um, to go with our breakfasts in the morning over the next week. And then I've got a little breakfast pack. And I thought maybe like on Boxing Day morning when me and Lou are just chilling by ourselves in the flat. Maybe we could have that and it's just got a cute little... It's got like um, a bit of everything in it. Pork, sausages, beef and black pudding. So yeah, so I thought that was quite good. That's square sausage if no one in England has seen that. Apparently that is not a thing in England, but it is here. I then got two cucumbers and some mayonnaise because that's also an essential for Lou. He loves his mayo and essential for me is a cucumber because I literally live with cucumber on the side of every single dish. Um, moving on for, um, oh, I got another one of these stirrings. They were on an offer. Then for tonight's dinner, I've got these baby corn, egg noodles, and I'm just going to make a bit of a teriyaki stir fry just to start off um, Saturday night healthy and then on to a bit more of an unhealthy a couple of days heading into Christmas. So I'm really looking forward to that tonight. I got two packets of the prawns. This was on a three for ten offer, so I got two king prawns and one chicken mini breasts. Oh my gosh, that's not a bad offer um, at all. Then got a Christmas veg melody. It just caught my eye. It's just basically vegetables with pigs in blankets in it. And I don't know why, but I just thought Lou would really like that because he likes pigs in blankets and it's just in a little veg melody. So I thought it'd be quite nice. Um, then I got some chicken tikka filled naan. That just caught my eye as I was going past it. And I thought it's good for their mind. You might be feeling a little bit sorry for yourself over the Christmas pe festive period. Moving on, I got two, oh my gosh guys, this is like, I'm in some sort of advert. Moving on, we got this Sobo Classic um, noodles. Now, guys, I've not been disloyal to my cocoa chicken noodles, but these noodles are really good. Lou tried them one night when we were feeling slightly merry. We got some noodles out, and he had these ones, and I had my usual cocoa chicken noodles. But if I remember rightly, they were really nice. So, there's two packets of them. I then got some seafood sticks, just to keep it a little bit healthy over the winter period, and also... Actually, hi, this is really not that healthy. So, um, yeah, this is not really for, to keep it healthy. It's just an alternative to one of those nights when you just want some picky food. 
Then I saw in the reduction bay a chicken down from, what a bargain, £5 down to £3.85. And it's basically just a chicken with all your sage and onion everything. I think it's got stuffing inside it and I just thought it's a great price. Stick it in the freezer and that'll be great over the next few weeks, few days, not weeks, Harriet. And then I got just a red gem lettuce. And I got some chorizo and red wine tapas for Lou. He loves these little tapas dishes. And I got a baking camembert for one night over the next couple of nights because I love camembert and garlic bread. I've got two garlic breads in the fridge and this is going to go so nice with it. Then I got some mushrooms to go in our stir fry tonight and a stir fry vegetable kit. This is great. It's got like pak choy. How do you, how do you say it, Lou? Pak pa choy? I don't know. Pak choy. And it's got um, broccoli um, and just loads of like bits under here. So I just got that. Then I got some duck spring rolls because these are so good. I got some prawn toast um, because we're gonna have that with our stir fry tonight. I then got some sliced chorizo. Um, these are all like a pound each. German peppered salami and just normal salami. Lou loves all these sort of stuff so I picked up them. I then got some smoked sausage, loves a bit of smoked sausage. I got normal pretzels and sour cream and chive pretzels. I like the normal ones, Lou likes the sour cream and chive ones. I then got some pate because I love pate. Oh my gosh, literally love pate. I then got two, in fact, I got three, three normal Diet Cokes. These are like three for a pound. And then three orange Fantas because these were all three for a pound. So I got them just to stock the fridge up with a little bit of extra fizziness. Um, and then I got a normal onion. And then I got this for Lou for lunch over the next couple of days. It's a Thai green curry and rice. £1.95 down from £2.75. I just thought for a lunch for the next couple of days that would be quite nice for his lunch. I then picked myself up a couple of these packets of the prosciutto. It's £1, so I just thought that would do for a dinner at some point this week. Picky with cheeses and cucumber. Can't go wrong. Then I picked up a low pack. And last but not least, I picked up the sea salt. Oh my gosh, what's happened to my jumper? I picked up the sea salt and black pepper crackers because, oh my goodness, I will be living off cheese boards and all this food over the next week in the party season. Tra la 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 I'm free to the room to finish this as Lou is watching the dance. But yeah, that is everything I picked up in the food shop, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure you stay tuned to all my other little videos that are coming up over the next few days on the lead up to Christmas. Um, and yeah, just don't forget to hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe button, follow my videos, it would mean the absolute entire world to me and head over to my Instagram too because I literally Instagram story there daily. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you all real soon in my next video. Bye guys!